Το δύναμε κύριε, δοξάζομεν σου την ανάσταση. Praise God in his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. By your cross you freed us from the ancient curse of Christ. And by your death you neutralize the devil who tyrannize our nature. And by your resurrection you fill the whole world with joy. Therefore we sing to you who rose from the dead. Glory to you, O Lord. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. O Christ, Savior, by your cross, guide us to your truth and deliver us from the snares of the foe. Since you have risen from the dead, Reach out your hand and raise us who have fallen into sin. O benevolent Lord, at the intercessions of your saints. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and the lyre. Never parting from the Father's bosom. Only begotten Logos of God, you came to earth for the sake of humanity, and without chains became a man, and in the flesh you endured the cross and death, remaining impassable in divinity. As the only almighty Lord, you rose from the dead, and you granted immortality to the human race. And salpingos, and afton emsaltirio ke kithara, Τον πατρικόν σου κόλπον μη χωρίς τις μονογενές λόγια του Θεού ήλθε σε πηγής διαφιλανθρωπίαν άνθρωπος γενόμενον ατρέπτος και σταυρών και θάνατον υπέμεινα σαρκή Ω απαθείς τη Θεότητη, Αναστάς δε εκ νεκρών, Αθανασία παρέσχες το γέννη των ανθρώπων, ως μόνος παντοδύναμος. Εγγύητε αυτόν εν την πάνω και χωρό, εγγύητε αυτόν εν χορδές και οργάνω. <coughs> Πάτερ Ιωάννη Ωσίε, μία παντός αληθός, του Θεού εν το λαρυγή τα συψώσεις έφερες, Μελετών πρακτικότατα τα θεόπνευστα λόγια πάνσοφε και την εκείθεν απειβγάζουσαν. Χάρινε πλούτη σα γεγονό μακαριό των ασεβών πάντων τα βουλεύματα κατάστρεψαμενο. Praise with the tremble and dance, praise him with the strings and flute, Holy Father John, as one devout. The exaltations of God were at all times the property of your throat in every very truth. 
as you study and practice well. The God inspired sayings is one oh why you were enriched in your soul by the divine grace, welling up from them and becoming blessed. You'll fully destroy the malicious and purposeful purposes of all impious men. And it the afton and kimvali sevihis, and it the afton and kimvali salalagmu, pasapnoi and esato tongirion, paterio aniosie. Dia pandos alithos tu theu en to laringi, as ipsos is eferes, meleton practicotata, ta theopnevsta, logia pan sofe, que tine kithena na pigazusan. Χάρινε πλούτησας γεγονός μακαριός των ασεβών πάντων τα βουλεύματα καταστρέψαμενο. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, he will delight exceedingly in his commandments. Holy Father John, as glory as your shadow well spring of tears, and your soul thus was purified. You propitiated God by standing in prayer all night. Thus given wings you ascended to love, and his beauty all blessed as you are. Which now worthily you are enjoyed, Endlessly as you rejoice with your fellow athlete monks, O godly minded saints. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his holy one. Holy Father John, as one devout, when you had lifted your mind unto God on the wings of your faith. You despise the turbulence of the world in its transience, and on your shoulders you took up your own cross and followed after the Lord who sees things. Then the truly unruly flesh you subordinated your pious thought to ascetic exercise by the Divine Spirit's might. Ήμιος εναντίον Κυρίου ο θάνατος του οσίου αυτού, Πάτερ Ιωάννη Ιωσίε, αναπτερός ας το νουν προς Θεόν διαπίστεως κοσμική συγχυσεώς, Ευδελίξω το άστατον και τον σταυρόν σου αναλαβόμενος τον παντεποπτήν κατοικολούθησας σωμαδισσυνίων Αγωγές διασκήσε ως το λογισμό στενή δουλεισάμενος του Θείου
Extend your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. If we have sinned willingly or unwillingly, forgive us as a good and loving God, granting us your worldly and heavenly blessings. For you are God, show mercy to us and save us. And to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever in the ages of ages. Teach me your Blessed is Christ our God always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Our refuge, Lord, from one generation to the next. I cry out, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul. Glory to your God, our own glory to you. I run to you, O Lord. Teach me to please May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, is the good, loving, and merciful God, God of mercy, and can save us from the prayers of the most pure and holy mother of the holy glory, from the Lord of the apostles, the same heart, the evangelist, and in your oh, the holy and right hand, God, judge you, and of St. John Climacus, oh, Aristophos, Putin, the Lord, the most apostle of the seventies men we commemorate, and Climacus, John of the latter. And we observe all the saints with the prayers of our Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God of mercy, and to save us. Blessed is our God always, now and forever, into the ages of ages. May the Lord guide your steps to every good work. May the Lord our God remember you both in his kingdom, always, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Praise to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among all. Holy mighty, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, and the Lord, O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. Standing in the temple, we feel as though in heaven, O Theosophos, heavenly gate, open for us the door of your tender mercy. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Τη άνωθεν ειρήνη και τη σωτηρία των ψυχών ημών του κυρίου Δε ηθόμεν. Κύριε Λαϊσό, υπέρ τη ειρήνη του σύμπαντο κόσμου, ευσταθία των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και τη των πάντων ενώσεω του κυρίου Δε ηθόμεν. Gen City, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. 
Pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your Lord, grace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Commemor our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious and Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise him as long as I have breath. Bless you, help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us, who sing to you, Alleluia. The Lord reigns unto the ages of ages, your God of Zion, from one generation to the next. and protect us, O God, by your grace. Come on, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves in one another, in our whole life, unto Christ our God. And to you we give glory, to the Father and the Son, and the Holy 
Holy Spirit, now and, and forever, forever and, and to the ages of ages. Grant that your holy angels may enter with the other nations. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and to the ages of ages. class who are coming to St. John the Ladder, you'll recognize the hymn that we are about to sing is the hymn that we open and close with each of the classes. So let's all sing together with our chanters the beautiful <laughs> Apolitikion of St. John Climacus. With the rivers of your tears, you made the
Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, when God made a promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore to himself, saying, Surely I will bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, having patiently endured, obtained the promise. Men indeed swear by a greater than themselves, and in all their disputes, an oath is final for confirmation. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise, the, the unchangeable character of his purpose, he interposed with an oath, so that through two unchangeable things, in which it is impossible that God should prove false, we who have fled for refuge might have strong encouragement to seize the hope set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner shrine behind the curtain, where Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Peace be with you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In the worship guide, we have the prayer before reading scripture. This is something that we can get in the habit of doing even when we are home before reading scripture. It's a nice, beautiful prayer that helps us focus. You may follow along together. Shine within our hearts, loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our minds that we may comprehend the message of your gospel. 
instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments, so that having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life, thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ our God, are the light of our souls and bodies, and to you we give glory, together with your Father who is without beginning, and your all holy good and life-creating spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you. At that time, a man came to Jesus, kneeling and saying, Teacher, I brought my son to you, for he has a dumb spirit, and wherever it seizes him, it dashes him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out, and they were not able. And he answered them, O faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him, and when the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, how long has he had this? And he said, from childhood, and that has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, you dumb and deaf spirit, I command you come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out and the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up and he rose. And when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, This kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer and fasting. They went on from there and passed through Galilee. And he would not have anyone know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And when he is killed, after three days he will rise. Peace be with you, proclaims the gospel and all of you. We bow before you, our good and loving God. Hear our supplications. Enable us to walk in your mercy. You have set your lowly and worthy servants to serve at your holy altar before your holy glory. Strengthen us for this service with the power of your Holy Spirit and grant speech to our lips that we may invoke the grace of your Holy Spirit upon the gifts that are about to be offered. And grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you. O pos, i votu gratu su pando te filato ameni, si doxan anapembo men, to patri ke to io ke to agio pnebmati nin ke ahi, ke istu se onas to ne ono. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. No one bound by worldly desires and worldly approach draw near and minister to you, the King of glory. To serve you is great and awesome, even for your angelic powers. 
but because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You served as a high priest and as Lord of all entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim, the Lord of the seraphim, the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart from an evil conscience. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit, set vested with the grace of priesthood, I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. You, I come with bowed head and pray, do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, but rather make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, O Christ, the God of the offer and the offer, and the one who receives and distributed to you, we give glory to the eternal Father. In your all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. We receive the King of all invisible, escorted by the angelic host. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you are justified in your sentence and blameless in judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and in sin that my mother bare me. Behold, you desire truth in inward being, therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill my heart with joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and hold me with a willing spirit. Then they shall teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall deliver me. Deliver me from the guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. For you are no delight in sacrifice, for I to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. A sacrifice except for the God is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. Put the Lord your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall the bullets upon your altar, and have mercy upon me, O oh God. Forgive those who hate us and those who love us. upon the name of the Lord.
Παντονιμών νηστή κύριο ο Θεό εν τη βασιλεία του πάντοτε νυν και αγί και ει του αιώνα των Petos drepti mare tore lor, Christin sava, pomniaska domne mul, domne zu, in truem parasia sa, to edia ye wan kumche, purga unche un veci, veci lor. Amen. Do Gospod, Bog spom yene. Svena cu carvo svoje, svdada sada i uvek i usvekova. Sorino internamente ora e sempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. May the Lord our God remember us all in his heavenly kingdom, both now and forever, <coughs> and on to the ages of ages. Jesus, shall be offered upon your altar and have mercy upon me, O God. The noble Joseph, taking down your most pure and spotless body, anointed it, wrapped it, anointed it with aromatic spices, and wrapped it in a new tomb. May the Lord God remember you in the action and in this kingdom for us now forever. Until the age of the age. Without the shedding of blood for our sins, for the transgressions of your people, grant that having accepted the sacrifice upon your holy heavenly and spiritual altar, as we offer the spiritual fragrance, may it return to them upon us the grace of your holy that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful God, and guard your souls and our bodies, let us ask the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. to our souls and for peace in the world let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord for the completion of our lives in peace and repentance let us ask the Lord Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed. 
blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. Through you, O Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. be attentive all together i believe in one god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible and in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god begotten of the father before all ages light of light true god of true god begotten not created of one essence with the father through whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the Scriptures. And he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, which proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalo, stomen metafovu, proskumenti na yena na foran, en irini prosferi. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Commentas cardias, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Eucharisti, somento kiriu, let us give thanks to the Lord. Proper is proper For you are praised by the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many-eyed cherubim. Round about you stand the seraphim, one with six wings and the other with six wings. With two they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet, with two they fly, crying out to one another with unceasing voices, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, Sabbath, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna to God in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord.
Standing in the Hades to the cross, that he might fill all things with himself, he loosed the bonds of death. He rose on the third day, having opened a path for the all flesh to the resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible that the author of life would be dominated by corruption. So he became the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that he might be himself the first in all things, ascending into heaven. He sat at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he will come to render to each according to his works. As memorials of his saving passion, he has left us these gifts, which we have set forth before you according to his commands. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary, ever memorable, life-giving death, on the night on which he was delivered up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and presenting it to you, God the Father, and offering thanks, blessing, sanctifying, and breaking it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Lavete, foyete, tutumo estito soma. To iperimon colomenon is apes in a martion. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine and having mingled it, offering thanks, blessing and sanctifying it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying, drink of this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Pietex of tu pandas tu tu esti to emamo to tis genis diathikis to iperimon ke polon echinomenon is apes in amartion. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you drink this cup and eat this bread, you proclaim my death and you confess my resurrection. Therefore, Master, we also, remembering his saving passion and life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven at your right hand, God and Father, and his second and glorious and awesome second coming. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts, in all and for all. We dare to approach your holy altar and bring forth the symbols of the holy and body and blood of your Christ. We pray to you and call upon you, O Holy of Holies, that by the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon the gifts here presented to bless, sanctify, and make. Father, bless the holy bread. This bread to be the precious body of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, Amen. Amen. Father, bless the holy And cup. this cup to be the precious blood of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, Amen. Amen. Bless both holy gifts. Shed for the life and the salvation of the world. Amen. 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 And unite to those who partake of them, to all of us partakers of the one bread and the cup in the communion of the Holy Spirit. Grant that none of us may partake of the holy body, blood of your Christ to judgment or condemnation, but that we may find mercy and grace with all the saints who please you throughout the ages. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, and blessed Lady, that they'll talk us and ever virgin Mary. Got Maximus and Zoe, George, but it's that Athanasius, George, Anastasia, but it's on the day of order. Athanasius, the priest, Athanasius, Yanni, Athanasius, Socrates, the priest, Gideapos, George, Harry, the service fellow, Cleopatra, Johnson Dean, James, Gus, George, the little that departed, for the servant of God. Sophia, and for all of those who have fallen asleep, and grant them rest, O God, the light of your countenance shine. Again, we ask, O Lord, be mindful of your holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, which is from one end of the earth to the other. From you, our God, was incarnate and became a child. Great is the name of the Trinity.
mercy upon them, granting them their petitions for salvation. Remember, O oh God, all those whom we have not remembered through ignorance, forgetfulness, or because of their multitude, since you know the name and age of each, even from our mother's womb. For you, O oh Lord, are the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the afflicted, the haven of the voyager, and the physician of the sick. Be all things to all people, you who know each person, his requests, their household and their need. Deliver this parish and city, O Lord, and every city and country from famine, plague, earthquake, hurricane, flood, fire, sword, invasion of foreign enemies, and civil war. Above all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years. Rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind and all your people. And all your people. Declare us to be sons and daughters of the light and of the day. Grant us your peace and love, and love O Lord. For you have given us all the things to come. And we pray, O Lord, for those enduring religious persecution throughout the world. We pray, O Lord, for peace in the Ukraine and peace in the Middle East. For the softening of the hearts of the aggressors. For the servants of God, Susan, Bill, Argiros, Sofia, Laddie, Alexandra, Marlene, Stavros, Margarita, Alpida, Dean, Connie, Kathy, Irene, Zachary, Eugenia, Olivia, Constantinos, Lena, Christos, Katarina, Anna, Popey and Peter. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you. All of you and with your spirit. Good morning. I greet you with much love and joy as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. As we're preparing ourselves for Pascha, we still have a few weeks left, of course. Allow me to bring in mind that if you would like to go, there's a table in the hall today that you may purchase and make a donation for Easter lilies, Pascha donations. There's a table for Realm. We're moving all of our communication to Realm. So if you are not a steward who has Realm, I encourage you to download the app and go speak to that table today. But also, it's important that all of our events will now go on Realm. So for instance, our Palm Sunday luncheon that we'll be sponsoring here, delicious catered in haddock fish and chips. So I invite all of you to be there. Can all be purchased on Realm. So all you have to do is open your app, go to it, and make that purchase. It's indeed a blessing. There's also the golf tournament table in the hall, as well as our Philopticos table. That's an opportunity for you to learn about the new ministries and grow closer. We have a lot of golfers. We need our sponsors. So let's all work together for this beautiful event. There's no secret that this church has always been a church that is focused on outreach and missions. This church has always been a church that understood the importance of not just looking within, but looking out. There's a very specific reason that as you walk out of the church, on the right-hand side in the inner narthex, there's a magnificent icon of the Great Commission, Matthew 28, where it says, Go therefore, Jesus telling his apostles, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. What a blessing that we have this icon in the church. This really helps us set the stage, really helps us understand the importance of not looking in, but looking out. Each Sunday during Lent, we focus on a different ministry. Today, this beautiful ministry is OCMC. You might say, what are those four letters? Orthodox Christian Mission Center. They are responsible in our archdiocese and all of America for all of the mission outreach throughout the world. They send teams to Guatemala, to Alaska, to Haiti. They send teams to Kenya, to Africa, different parts. They send teams to preach the gospel at all times. We are blessed at St. Mark with, of course, Helen Nikosisis and Athena Economou who are on the board of the Mission Center nationally. We are also blessed that we've had in the past many faithful who have served in this 
on this board. But also, we have people who went on mission trips. But as Izeta and I did 31 years ago to Kenya, Christina Katsupis went to Alaska. Juliana Leandis, my, our daughter, went also to Alaska and then oh, to Albania, and Christina went back to Albania. We have done at the church, we have supported Project Mexico, which has now come under that realm, and we are going to send a team again next year. These are all possibilities for us to look outside of who we are. So today is OCM Say Sunday, Mission Sunday. Missions throughout the world. In the back of the church, there are little boxes, and they are the SAMP, OCMC coin boxes. Take one. Put any loose change you might have. We don't do loose change as much anymore, so I always tell people, if you don't have the change, put a check in there at the end of the Lenten season so we can give to OCMC. You know it's important because through OCMC, we built and are building our St. Mark Church in Kenya. It's only by God's grace and through the OCMC that we're able to do something like this. And very special, beautiful news. The other evening I got a call from Bishop Neofitos of Kenya, and you've read about it, and he told us, Father Mark, I want to come to Boca Raton to thank the people and to be with you. So this Wednesday night, we are not going to have our usual Wednesday night class, but we'll have our pre-sanctified liturgy at 6, led by His grace. Bishop Neofitos, and then following, he's going to speak to all of us as one on the updating of the church in Kenya, but also what it's like to be an Orthodox hierarch in Kenya, in Eldoret, spreading the gospel. And that's a blessing. So all of these things come in line at the right time. And I didn't ask for this. It just all kind of comes into play that on the day that we're celebrating Mission Sunday, OCMC Sunday, we're able to do that. Something this great. So as you leave church today, there's going to be baskets as we do every Sunday in Lent. Throughout the year, you don't see us passing baskets for special occasions, and today is a special occasion. So I ask you, as you're leaving, please be generous in our gift to OCMC, and know also that $1,000 of this will also be matched by our philoptikos, which is in true to blessing during Lent. So with that, let's all remember, let's keep our missionaries always in our prayers, and let's each of us think about how we can become missionaries through OCMC and possibly work together on going on a trip, which we hope to do when the St. Mark Church in Kenya is built. We're planning on leading, Gerard and I are planning on leading a mission trip to Kenya. And all of you are invited if you'd like to come. God bless us all. May we praise our loving Lord always. Amen. Pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted at his holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves into one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Με τα παρησία σε κατακρίτου στο λουμά επικαλείστε σε τον απουράνιο Θεό Πατέρα και λέγει Πάτερη Μόρ, ο εντισουραγή. Αιεστείτε το όνομά σου, ερδέρτου η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθείτε το τελειμά σου, ω εν ουρανό και έπι τη ζή, τον άρτη ημών του νηπιούσιον, δώσι μη σήμερον και άφηση μην το επελίμητα ημών. Ω και εμεί αφήμε το περαίο του Σιμών, και εμεί ενέγγυσε μα τι πειρασμόν, αλλά ρίσε μα από του πονερού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. 
and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. from every evil deed. Lead them to every good work and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these your life-giving and pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and life eternal. Amen. By the grace, mercy, and love Lord for Jesus us Christ, for of Hear your us only from begotten your holy Son, and from the with whom you are blessed, you are together with, with the your Father, all holy, and good, and life-giving Spirit, and let now your pure body and forever and, to us and to the ages of ages. God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon us. Let us be attentive, Proskomaya. This is the holy gift for the holy people of God. Break, Master. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken yet not divided, for everything he never consumed. Sanctify those who partake in him, Jesus. Christos Nika, the cup is filled with the faith in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed is the fervor of your saints, always now and forever, in the ages of ages. Amen. My brothers and count celebrants, forgive me, Mark, you were the tree. My brothers and sisters in Christ, forgive me, Mark, the unworthy priest. Behold, I approach Christ, our mortal King and our God. The precious body of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive me, Mark, you were the priest, for the remission of sins and life eternal. Christ, our mortal King, our God, the precious blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, giving me marked in the priest, 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 In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. This past Monday, our parish council president and I, John Voitilla, traveled to Atlanta to see Metropolitan Alexios, to receive his blessing, to talk about the wonderful work and ministry of St. Mark, and to give him an update. It was truly a blessed time. You would think that as we were traveling there, and I say this with love, John, our parish council president, who was there with us, was so excited to share with the bishop and with all of us, not necessarily first about St. Mark, but he said, Your Eminence, Your Grace, can I just show you something? And he opened up his phone, and he took out a video on his phone, and it was his granddaughter, Samantha, taking her first steps. He was so excited to share that. I think I saw that video 15 times that day, and I say that. But that's indeed a blessing. Taking our first steps. We all remember, remember when our children were little, coming close to that 11 months, 12 months, right there where they're at, where they're getting ready to take their first steps. An exciting time for us, a time that's always with smiles. I think, though, looking back, you really don't know how that will change your life and how once they start walking, they don't stop. But it's indeed such a blessing. Taking steps in the church is an also blessing for us to take. Each Sunday of Holy Lent, we have this opportunity and they build upon each other to walk closer to God. The first Sunday of Lent is the Sunday of Orthodoxy. A beautiful time when we celebrate the veneration of icons. The second Sunday event is St. Gregory Palamas. His teachings on the divine light are indeed magnificent. The third Sunday of light is the veneration of the cross. Just when we're starting to get a little tired, just like we're starting to feel like, ah, Lent is almost over, the cross comes to us and is lifted up in our midst so that we too can be lifted up for strength, for perseverance for excitement to continue the fast. And then on the fourth Sunday of Lent, it's the beautiful saint, Saint John Climacus. 
who wrote The Ladder of Divine Ascent. This is the book that we are studying in our book class. This is the book that we announced about four weeks ago, and we've sold almost 70 copies of this book to our faithful, which is indeed a blessing. That means you're reading, you're growing, you're taking your steps. He was one of the most influential writers. This book is typically read by the monastics, by monks during Lent as an opportunity for them to grow closer. St. John, who wrote this, was a 6th century monk who entered the famous St. Catherine Monastery in Egypt, founded in the late 4th century. He entered at 16 years old. Imagine that. 16 years old, he entered the monastery. During his 40 years prior to his election to become abbot, he experienced all the different forms of monasticism that are studied there. Communal or cenobitic monasticism, solitary monasticism, and then small monastic skeets with a spiritual father and a few monks. So he experienced all of these. He wrote the beautiful Ladder of Divine Ascent. He wrote the ladder. It describes 30 steps or 30 rungs that a monastic should take and use towards spiritual direction, spiritual reflection, and spiritual perfection. We've been studying this book, and we're understanding the beautiful elements of it. No one can climb the ladder in a single stride. It's impossible. But rather, it takes years, patience, metania, repentance, a constant moving upward, and a constant falling backward. But it should be seen as a spiritual goal. Maybe we will never get to the 30 rungs, all the way to the top, but that's okay. It's about the process. And that process is so important as us Orthodox Christians, especially as we're focusing on the resurrection. We want to get to the resurrection, but let's take a few steps back. It's the fourth Sunday of Lent. We have a few more weeks. Let's enjoy the process. Don't look, look, don't just look at the ending and saying, I can't wait for that evening. Yes, we're all excited for it, but enjoy the process that leads up to it. Enjoy step one. Enjoy step two. Enjoy all the processes that we do. The book that we are reading actually is a beautiful, concise layman's version of this, Advice to Monks. And it's very clear that there is not one better than the other. Sometimes we look at monastics and we say, oh, they're all pure. No, it's really important. The married life, the life of living in the world is just as important at the monastic rite. But there are two important elements in Orthodox Christianity. They are there praying for us in the world. We are here working our salvation out in the world. We read this, and it's very important that these steps we can use as a complete checklist, climbing guide for the goal of reaching the summit of what it means to be made in the image and likeness of God. Some of the steps, for example, include renunciation, renouncing the world. Very easy, we would say, concept for a monk to renounce the world, to leave everything behind. But for us, how do we renounce the world in everyday lives? Something a little more difficult. We also know that there's detachment, follows renunciation, detachment from worldly things. We don't need toys, toys, cars. How? We don't need. What we need is the inner. What we need is the spiritual life to walk us there. Another step that it speaks out is the fundamental virtues of obedience. An example of repentance, to start refresh in life, to always start over. Another example, and I'm not going to read all of them, is, of course, the spiritual passions of learning to let them go. Once we confess them to God, letting them go. We do that by accepting Christ. Another step, talkativeness and silence. St. John wrote this so that the monk and the nun would not be chittering or chattering all the time. We too can learn from this, can't we? that sometimes excessive talkativeness is too much. Sometimes we need our silence, our quiet time to grow closer. It's interesting. 
the latter is set before us on the fourth Sunday of Lent to give us a historical understanding of St. John in the Mount Sinai, but also a spiritual understanding of our journey. And I say this with all of my heart. When we are working out our salvation, we need everyone to be involved. Salvation is not a personal thing, but rather a communal thing. Whether you're in the monastery and you have your brothers surrounding you or you're in a convent and you have your sisters surrounding you, you need those people to help hold you accountable. A spiritual father, you need brothers and sisters to grow with you. In the world, we also need the church. The church is what gives us that accountability. That church reminds us of how we walk and how we take each of those steps through a spiritual father, through walking in his commandments. These are ways that we can grow closer to him. So if you look at this ladder, I said earlier, you cannot go from step one to the top. It's literally impossible. Sometimes in life, we get to one, we get to two. And we think in our heart that we're ready to go to three, but the reality is something happens, we sin, we fall, and what happens? We go back down to one. The author of the book says, it's interesting, for me, this is what he says, I feel like I'm always and I've never passed step two. I've never got past step two. It's a continual walking up, giving glory to God. That's our goal, is to keep walking toward Christ, salvation. But as we go and the closer we get, we know the evil one works hard and he's trying to pull us down. And that's why if you look at the icon of the ladder of divine ascent, you see a ladder going from earth to heaven. And at the top, you see Jesus Christ welcoming. But on the bottom, you see the rungs, 30 rungs. And as the monks in this beautiful image, which we have in the bookstore, are walking up, you see demons pulling them down and trying to pull them off very symbolic of our own personal and spiritual communal struggle to walk towards salvation. My brothers and sisters, you cannot do it alone. We need the church in our lives. We need to be focusing on Christ. We need to be always walking, getting on that first step, sometimes falling down. It might take years to get here or years to get here. But the important thing is you keep trying. And that's what Lent does for us. It gives us the opportunity to grow closer to Him. So what I urge you today, I urge you, if you haven't done so yet, make a change this Lenten season and do something different from the past. Do something to hang on to Christ, looking at the resurrection. So on that great day when we're celebrating the Anastasia, the resurrection, we can all feel that we've given a little something. We've grown just a little every step, but my brothers and sisters, one step at a time. May our Lord Jesus Christ bless us on this journey as we walk up to him always. Amen. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as a thief I confess you, 
Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. With the fear of God, with faith, love, draw near. Sophia, she is the most precious body in the earth. Of our Lord and our God and our Savior Jesus Christ, the forgiveness of our sins and for life eternal. Amen. The servant of God, Theophilus, she is the most precious body in the earth. Of our Lord and our God and our Savior Jesus Christ, the forgiveness of his sins and life eternal. Amen. O Dios nuestro Señor, se mantiene. Of our Lord and our God and our Savior Jesus Christ, the forgiveness of her sins. Amen. Son of God, give me keys to this precious money of God. Servant of God, the Almighty, who sees the most precious body of God, of our Lord and our God and our Savior. And Caterina receives the most precious body of God.
exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me, and from all my fears he set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise be ever on my lips. My soul will glory to him and be radiant, that your faces may not blush with shame, when the poor cry out, the Lord hears them, and rescues them from all their distress. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise be ever on my lips, my soul will glory. around those who fear him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who take refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise be ever on my lips. My soul will glory in the Lord. And bless your inheritance, Sos no Theos and Laonsu, Kevroi son Tinkridonomiansu. Idomento Poso Alitino, Elamomen, Nepa Epuranio, Eromentus in Alithi, Adieret, Otro Gapa, the heavens of your glory be all the earth. Blessed is our God. Always, now, and forever, and the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthy give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Lord, you, o Lord. We thank you, Lord our God. 
the communion of your holy, most pure, immortal, and heavenly mysteries, which you have granted us for the benefit, sanctification, healing of our souls and bodies. Grant, Master of all, that the communion of your holy body and blood of our Christ may become for us faith unashamed, love unfeigned, fullness of wisdom, healing of soul and body, repelling of every hostile adversity, observance of your commandments, and an acceptable defense at the dread judgment seat of your Christ. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. a 40-day memorial for Richard Diakos, a one-year memorial for Evelyn Lefis, a one-year memorial for Cornel Zemed, a four-year memorial for Ioanni Skulmanda, a five-year memorial for Mike Cartier, and a one-day memorial for the servant of God, George, who passed away. Let us all keep them in prayer as we ask our eternal Lord to have mercy on their souls. Mettem primato di che on te telio menon, ta si caston zulon su, so terra na pavson, filaton naftas, istin macarian zoint in parasi filantrope. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest to the souls of your servants, for you alone art immortal. Now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. O only pure and immaculate virgin who gave birth to God in virginity, pray for the salvation of the souls of your servant. With the saints give rest, O Christ, to the souls of your servants where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering, but life everlasting. <laughs>
mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the rest of the souls of God's servants, Richard, Cornell, Evelyn, Ioannis, Mike, and George, who have fallen asleep and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins from Christ our immortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil and given life to your world. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, Richard, Cornell, Evelyn, Ioannis, Mike, and George, who have fallen asleep in a place of rest, in a place of comfort, in a place of light where there is no more pain, sorrow, or suffering as a good and loving God. Forgive every sin which they have committed, whether in word or deed or thought, for there is no person who lives and does not sin, except for you, the only sinless one. Your righteousness is eternal righteousness, and your word is truth. <laughs> Και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν σου το ανάρχο σου πατρί και το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύματι νυν και αγί και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. For you, O Christ our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the rest of your departed servants whom we remember today who have fallen asleep in on to you we offer glory together with your eternal Father, your all-holy, good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, Amen. and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal, our brothers and sisters, who are worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal, our brothers and sisters, who are worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. come upon you through his divine grace and love for us always 
now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, is a good, loving, and merciful God, have mercy on us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praise of the apostles, the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of Joy Kimenana, the ancestors of the Lord, of St. Basil the Great, whose liturgy we celebrate today, St. John Climacus, whose feast day we celebrate today, and of all your saints, have mercy in us and save us, for you are a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy in us and save us. May the holy Trinity protect keep all of you. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. I forgot to make mention of one more thing. Today, you're not going to see myself or Father Alex in the fellowship hall. We're going to be walking around the entire church grounds with our parish council, with, led by Dino Mastarakis and Jim Dovis, who are leading this effort. And we're looking at all the things that need to be done to the church, from painting and scraping, etc., and filling in and all the cracks and crevices. But also, on Easter night, which is the Anastasy. We will celebrate here. After the service is done, we invite you in the fellowship hall for a break the fast. We'll have our traditional tzureki and beautiful soup made by John Argyros with some uh, feta cheese and some eggs that are out to celebrate. But also, since it's Cinco de Mayo that day, and also St. Irene, but Cinco de Mayo that day, we're also going to have a beautiful I have to say, Yiro Tacos, which are going to be there that night. So join us that day. We'll celebrate all together with the world. May God bless you always. Over and a reminder, Wednesday night, Bishop Neofitos of Eldoret in Northern Kenya will be here at St. Mark. Give generously to the OCMC. May God bless you all. Okay. Ready? Ready? Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Yeah.